praise song for Mrs. Geraldine Thompson. Mrs. Geraldine Morgan Thompson, 1872 to 1967, you were the first lady of New Jersey. Dr. Geraldine Livingston Morgan Thompson, you are the first lady of Brookdale. Tonight we pay special tribute to you. Tonight we acknowledge the deep debt of gratitude we owe you. On this the 55th anniversary of your enormous legacy silently nurturing Monmouth County, as your selfless spirit lingers over Brookdale Farm, no longer in private ownership, but in public service as Brookdale Community College and Thompson Park, your groundbreaking vision lives on in the lives of so very many. As a Morgan girl, you played baseball with Franklin Delano Roosevelt and your brother in Hyde Park. You chose to follow in the footsteps of your grandmother, Geraldine Livingston Hoyt, who rode to Randall's Island three times a week and improved in very large measure the poor, the sick, and the indigent who were all incarcerated together in conditions very hard to think about and even harder to bear. Mrs. Geraldine Livingston Thompson, most gracious wife and magnificent mother, you gave birth to four children of your own, but only after you had taken into your care four children of a brother whose wife had died in childbirth, leaving them bereft of a mother. But there was another. A relative had been orphaned, and it fell to you to take on the duty of taking care of her too. So in the Thompson Mansion, with its 29 rooms, a family with nine children was indeed a fitting brood. In 1924, you were the first female delegate to the New Jersey Republican Convention. But you declined to run for office, choosing a different approach with which to fight for justice. We at Brookdale do honor you here. We know that in establishing Brookdale Community College, it was a fight that you participated in, and alone you would have fought, led, and won. But being a member of the American Association of University Women, they stood by you. They stood their ground. Together you fulfilled the dream, and you were made a victor once again. At 95, your political labor and social advocacy were finally done. You lost your husband in 1936 and lived as a widow for years numbering 31. And yours was a lifelong fight with tuberculosis, which you most certainly won. But tragically, you lost your son, William. And could a similar tragedy befall you again. You lost your daughter, your namesake, Geraldine. To tuberculosis, she succumbed. And could still more pain pierce a loving mother's heart? Yes. You also lost Louis, your remaining beloved son. What pain, what grief, what sorrow you carried in your breast. Yet, your spirit was relentless. Four days after you died, the resolution to establish Brookdale was signed. The estate you had bequeathed to Lewis, your last son, became the location for a community college that, would, that you would bestow, not only with its natural beauty preserved, but with a commitment to focus on the community and the underserved. Yes, you had a strategy all your own. Even the official political office you had shunned, parties and networks became your chosen weapons. You celebrated and dined governors and politicians. You created community at Thompson Park among Democrats and Republicans. And without letting them imbibe alcohol. 
prohibition happened in the Thompson household, even though Republicans rejected what to you was an important life-preserving rule. Preservation of the environment is another issue on which you led. Not only donating Thompson Park, but inspiring other widows to follow in your stead. At a time when Lincroft was becoming a developing town, no longer a stagecoach stop, with a need for cars and highways and new families that needed parks for children to run and play and hop. Your vision encompassed children of every kind, from those of your stall hands, to migrant workers, to orphans, to black children denied access to education, to psychiatric patients at Marlboro. You set up many centers for care. As president of the Monmouth County Organization of Social Services, you made New Jersey a leader in responding to social crises. From this presidency for 50 years, as a volunteer, you retired at 80 and remained as president emerita until 90. Academics make many contributions indeed, but in your presence we are humbled. You certainly took the lead. Eleanor Roosevelt recognized this. You became fast friends, lifelong warriors, fighting for justice and helping many people's sufferings to not go unnoticed. So, on this your 55th anniversary year of invisible but faithful, loving community care, we at Brookdale collectively honor you, not only in this poem here. You're an inspiration, a beacon that allows Brookdale to continue to shine. And the names Thompson and Brookdale accurately, proudly carries on your family's line. Dr. Mrs. Geraldine Livin Morgan Thompson, it is with our deepest gratitude we finally acknowledge you as a founder, a benefactor, and our most generous patron ever. We humbly bestow on you our highest degree, a PhD of love and of gratitude. Wherever you dwell among spirits sublime, while we come to experience a closer connection to you and the power and unity of time. Thank you.